Well, a few days ago, I left Seattle, headed south uh, in search of some warmer temperatures and some sunshine. Um, it's a little easier for me to be around sunshine because I do live off of solar power. So uh, as soon as it started to get dark and uh, really cold up in Seattle, I decided that things might be easier south. So that's where I headed. Um, I think I've been driving about three days now. Uh, my first stop was in Astoria up on the uh, northern coast of Oregon. And I've made it all the way down to the other side of the state. I'm in Brookings, Oregon right now. And that is just a few miles north of the Oregon-California state border. Now, it's been a pretty rainy trip, so I haven't felt too much of a need to get out and do much hiking or exploring around, but I did stop a few times and get out, well, more than a few times. I, I stopped quite often to get out and just check the scenery. Uh, this is a beautiful drive here. If you've never been on this Pacific coastline here in Oregon, uh, it's just amazing. Everywhere you look, it's just fantastic. So I stopped a few places, um, stopped at Thor's Well, didn't stay too long just because it was pretty wet and rainy uh, and figured with all the rain just be better just to keep driving so that's what I did now the thing is I'm not really used to driving tons and tons of miles so these last three days of mostly driving has gotten me all tired out so when I got to Brookings here, I looked around and just the combination of it being just such a cool little town, just a nice little town. It's a small town, but nice vibe here, uh, just a really relaxed vibe here. And uh, talked to a couple locals here in town. Uh, everybody's just really friendly. Scenery's fantastic here. Um, there's a little state park, uh, Harris Beach State Park, I believe, which is free for day use so i spent the day there yesterday just so that i could be back at the ocean i am so glad to be back at the pacific ocean uh it was nice just to spend the day down there but that combination of just me being tired out of driving and this being such a cool town i just decided to uh, stay in town for a few days uh, i don't know how long i'll stay here but the idea of getting back on the road uh, is not so pleasant, although if it does get dark and rainy here, I may uh, decide that it is time to go. But so far, it's been pretty nice weather-wise. Uh, much warmer than up in the Olympic Mountains where I have been hanging out the last few weeks. So, um, all in all, really great place to be so far. Well, it would be nice to go back down to the ocean there and just hang out for the day again, but I do have things to do, so I thought maybe if I get some things done, I can go back out to the ocean, but I think uh, I do need to do some laundry, so I was doing a little bit of checking, and there are a couple laundromats here in town. One seems decent, so I figure once I get my coffee made here, I will... Uh, just head over to the laundromat, get some laundry taken care of. Um, laundry's been more of an issue here lately for me because I did a little uh, product review. Well, not really a little pro product review. It's a, it's a big portable battery. I don't even know if I can get it out here to show you, but maybe I can. Let's see. Now, see, this is part of my problem. I'm, I'm stuffed in here so heavy now that, um, can I even get this out of here to show you? This is the struggle of uh, moving stuff around in here day to day. Let's see, here we go. That's it. Um, this big huge thing uh, made by Opez, I did a little review on this. Uh, fantastic battery. Um, and I don't mention this just to try to sell batteries because I have no 
relationship with the company, but um, I've filled my obligation with them. They sent me the battery and, and two solar panels, actually. Uh, I did the review, and that's uh, that's as much as, as I was required to. But um, anyway, I'm bringing this up because on the one hand, it's really nice to have such a big backup battery. Uh, this is the biggest backup battery I've ever had. And it's really great because it's almost as much capacity as my house battery. It's a lot of power. The downside is I've had to get rid of a bunch of stuff and move some stuff around. I basically reorganized my underbed storage, uh, got rid of a bunch of clothes that I don't wear very often, uh, had some jeans that I've outgrown. I've actually put on a few pounds over the last couple of years. I know it you don't believe me, but um, I have. Uh, so I had a couple of jeans that were good jeans. Uh, nothing wrong with them, but um, I just don't seem to be able to fit back in them. So I've decided I should just finally get rid of them. No sense in keeping those around, especially when I needed to make room for this big monster of a battery. So uh, even with getting rid of a bunch of stuff and shuffling stuff around a bit um it's it's taken up a lot of room and i've found that i've lost a little bit of storage space all around but uh this is taking up a little storage space that i was using for dirty clothes i've got a big duffel bag that i put all my dirty clothes in just makes it easy to move them around when i get to the laundromat but this battery is so massive that I've lost some of that space. And so that kind of has been forcing me to go to um, the laundry more often. So I'm gonna have to do that today. Not my favorite thing. Hey, I've got coffee now. Maybe this will get me going. I'm having a typical late start to my day, but in my defense, I have been doing a lot of driving, which I'm really not used to. All right, let's get this stuff put away and get to the laundromat. Oh, look at all this sun out. I was heading south to find sun. I didn't think I'd find it already. just took a little detour here. This is actually not Brookings. This is the next town over, and it is aptly named. It's called uh, Harbor. We've got this huge harbor here. Um, don't know much about this town, but I came to this side of town, uh, well, or harbor instead of Brookings, because the laundromat over here was a little better rated. Looks nice. I guess I should get to the laundromat. So I wanted to take that little detour down to the water because I just wanted to see what the town was like. Um, someone yesterday told me that this is kind of considered the other side of the tracks from Brookings. Even though it's, it's a different town, they're so close together, they look like they're the same town. But he was explaining to me that uh, Brookings is incorporated. They have their own police department. Uh, Harbor here, since it's unincorporated, falls under the sheriff's office. And he said things are not quite so um, looked after so much. Uh, so... Uh, I was just wondering uh, what it was like. Um, I think it's just as nice of a place as Brookings is. To me, there's not much of a difference. So uh, I'm happy to be in either one here. Now, um, before I get all my clothes and dirty laundry together, I'm just going to go walk into the laundromat because it looks good on the outside, but I just want to make sure that it's a coin laundry and that it's got working machines and stuff. So I'll go do that now and see if it's a place I actually want to do my laundry.
Oh yeah, it looks like a nice laundromat. Uh, not the cheapest I've seen, but um, it looks like it's a decent place. So I'm gonna get my stuff together here. I've got my duffel bag. Um, I've got a lot of dirty laundry here to do. Um, oh, I also have to strip my sheets off my bed too. Um, I'm surprised at how much dirty laundry I have here, but then I was thinking uh, it has been pretty cold and I have been wearing like long johns and heavier clothes, so I guess that accounts for the extra laundry. I'm still uh, short on space here because of that big battery, but uh, that doesn't help either. Well, apparently I got here to the laundromat the same time everybody else did, because now the place is jumping in there. Most of the machines are being used, so glad I didn't wait around any longer. Should have came straight here. Uh, but all worked out. Um, I've got 20 minutes, got my timer set. I um, I woke up with a little bit of a headache this morning, which means probably shouldn't have made coffee. I probably should have just been drinking water. Uh, haven't been drinking a whole lot of water uh, the last few days just because I've been driving a lot. The need today is to focus on what I should be doing. So. I, yesterday I drank quite a bit of water, but I have been drinking reverse osmosis water out of the machines that you get at the grocery store just because that's just been the thing that I've been around to get lately. So a while back I was thinking that I had a issue with being up at high altitude and I found out uh, with going back and forth with my doctor and all that it was really that I was lacking in minerals and drinking the wrong water, you know, drinking the RO water. I was drinking plenty of water, but it wasn't giving me the minerals that I need. So uh, a few months back, I found it at the health food store, some liquid minerals. So when I'm starting to feel like I've got a bit of a headache going on, I'll just take a couple dropperfuls of these liquid minerals and add them to my water. Um, I was thinking that these would have a really strong flavor and I wasn't going to like the taste of them. But at least with this brand, I don't notice any uh, taste. But I do notice that if I use these uh, when I'm starting to feel like I'm getting a headache, I might be a little past that at this point because I do have, I woke up with a headache. But it um, seems like if I get on these early, take them early enough, uh, they will wipe out the headache. Um, I found I can do the same with coconut water but I can't always find coconut water uh, around. A lot, of, a lot of the coconut water in the stores has added stuff in them. Uh, they put flavorings and sugars and things like that, and I just need the coconut water by itself uh, when I'm feeling like this. So that's why I have these mineral drops. Um, this is from a small company called Idon Minerals out of uh, San Diego uh, area. And I'm happy to have them just for cases like this, but now I just need to remember today to drink my water and maybe drink less coffee. We both know that's not going to happen, the drinking less coffee part. And probably what will do me good too is to make a little bit of food. Um, should eat breakfast, and I have not been eating breakfast much lately, so... Got some tortillas and some really good eggs. Um, I found these eggs at a grocery outlet. They were cheaper than any other store around and they're fantastic eggs. They're real, um, actually free range eggs, not those fake free range eggs that most of the stores sell. Uh, they're cool too because they're, uh, they're a mix of blue and brown eggs. I just think that they're cool. Uh, they are kind of small, but I think I'll just make a little burrito out of them. Maybe some cheese, too. That would be good, wouldn't it? Well, I was hoping to feel a little bit better after I ate something, but my headache is still here. Um, it was feeling better. The headache felt like it was going away. Uh, but every time I go back into the laundromat to check on the laundry, 
uh, my headache comes right back full strong. Uh, probably because of all the scents going on in there. Um, really chemically sensitive and so um, that's my big reason why I don't like to do laundry. It's not that I don't really like to do the laundry process. It's just going into a laundromat where I have to be hit in the face and in the nose with um, all of those uh, fragrances. Uh, it usually puts me down quickly and it certainly is doing that today. So um, no rest for the uh, for the weary though today. I've got a while that's going. I I did swap over the clothes out of the washer, put them in dryers. So got a few minutes for that. And while I'm waiting for that, I need to switch my bedding around a little bit here. Um, I tried something new with my bed a few weeks back, where I uh, put my sleeping bag. I've got this old sleeping bag. I've had this for years. I bought this at a Cabela's years ago. It's an awesome sleeping bag. The outside is canvas, a cotton canvas, and then on the inside is this um, cotton uh, flannel. And it's really heavy and really well made, and it's big. It's like oversized. So um, I really like it. I don't want to get rid of it, but I don't really use it. So I normally store it under my mattress here, just on the bed frame top and under the mattress. thought that I would try something different because I used to use a, a really uh, dense mattress. It was a futon mattress uh, and it was all cotton pretty much I think and uh, it was very very dense and I used to sleep like a baby on that thing and I thought hey if I put this sleeping bag on top of the foam mattress that I have here maybe I'll get to that more dense feeling like I used to have and maybe it'll help me sleep a little bit. Not that I was having trouble sleeping, but every once in a while my back will start to hurt a little bit, and so I just thought, I'll give this a try. Well, this was the wrong thing to do. I don't know if I've changed. I am getting older, uh, but it's been several years since I've had that old futon. Uh, but I, something has changed, and I just have not found this to be comfortable. It really makes my bed a lot more uh, dense feeling. It's really odd. I, I figured it would make it a little bit more dense feeling, but it really feels extra dense now and I'm I'm not liking it. So while I'm waiting for the dryer uh, to do its job, I will get to this. I'm just going to move the sleeping bag under the mattress again. See how that goes. So I can get back to that nice soft feeling that I was uh, grown accustomed to, I guess. Maybe that's it. Okay, that's better. Got that under the mattress now, and just need a few minutes to wait for the uh, dryer to do its job. It's funny, this, uh, this sleeping bag is so oversized, it's actually bigger than my mattress or my bed frame. And that's a nice thing for comfort, but uh, when I'm storing it like this, of course, it takes up quite a bit of space. But I'm not getting rid of it. It's been a nice, uh, been a nice sleeping bag. Okay, got the van put back together again. A um, few positives here. Uh, with my sleeping bag now down under my mattress, uh, my mattress is nice and soft again, so that's good. Nice positive there. And I should say that this laundromat actually ended up being much cheaper than I initially thought it was going to be. Uh, the dryers worked really well here, and they give you uh, eight minutes per quarter. So uh, for every 25 cents you put in the dryer, they run for eight minutes. Um, so that was a good price, and that really made this much cheaper than I was initially thinking. So another nice little positive. Um, unfortunately, and you might be able to tell, I'm not feeling so good. Uh, some negatives about this place. Uh, it's really strong smelling with just fragrance in there. It's also really loud in there. Not only are there a lot of people in there, but uh, they have music blaring. So I've got a full-on headache now. Kind of feels like it is the beginning of a migraine. And that's worrisome to me. Um, it's not unusual for me to 
get a migraine from uh, chemical smells like this from laundromats. Uh, seems like that's a trigger for me. So um, I think right now I need to just find a place to park for a few minutes and hopefully I can do something to alleviate the migraine from coming on fully because if it does come on fully I'm, I'm in trouble. I can't drive, I can't, well I can't even walk around when I have a migraine so uh, I think I'm gonna head back to Harris Beach where I was yesterday and hopefully I can just chill out for a little bit. It's just a few miles down the road so let's go over there. So this is Harris State Beach, and this is just outside the city limits here in Brookings. Um, interestingly, they don't charge uh, a day use fee here, so pretty awesome place to uh, hang out for the day, especially because there's no charge uh, to use it. Uh, there is a campground just up the hill from here, uh, and they've got showers and everything, uh, full hookups, if that's what you need. Um, of course, I don't do that kind of thing, but uh, the day use area is pretty nice too because there's some restrooms here. Uh, I actually filled up with some water here. Um, they, they call it a foot shower or something, but you can fill up with water there. Um, so that's good. Uh, I might try to do that again because I need to use fresh water and not that uh, reverse osmosis water if I can. So I'll probably go fill up with some more water a little bit later, but um, I think I should probably just lay down for a few minutes. Uh, although I am already feeling much better, most of my headache is gone, uh, but I don't want to push it too much, so I'm just going to take a little, short little nap uh, and see how I feel. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. I'm still down here at the beach. Uh, I've been just laying down, slept most of that time. I had some noisy neighbors for quite a while so they woke me up uh, but other than that I slept and um, feeling pretty good. Uh, headache didn't get too bad, uh, never got any worse. Didn't turn into a migraine so I'm happy about that. Um, I did take some precautions. I probably should have turned my heater on because uh, it's definitely getting colder out. Uh, I, I just put my sweater on under my coat now um, just because it feels like it's dropping, temperatures dropping outside. Uh, but because I didn't have my heater on, uh, I put uh, this on my head. This is a little USB uh, heating pad. And I, I think it's actually sold or marketed mostly for uh, women and period pain. Uh, but I bought it because it has this uh, strap on it, which has some Velcro around it. And I was thinking that I could use the strap to, you know, hold it around my head uh, when I do have a migraine, because that seems to be the thing that helps me the most. I know some people say, well, most people say cold is better for them when they have a headache or a migraine, but for me, it seems to be heat. So um, it doesn't, uh, the, the strap doesn't quite work very well. So what I do, like what I had uh, done here was I took my big toque. Uh, this is kind of an oversized toque. And so I wrap this around my head, the heating pad around my head, and then I put the toque on over top of that so it holds it in place. Uh, and then that way the heat uh, sticks next to my head. And I think probably this was a big reason why the headache didn't get any worse. So really cool little thing. I bought this on Amazon. Um, I don't recommend this one, uh, but I did notice lately that um, there are other brands out there that have 
kind of miniature heating pads that work off of just a standard uh, USB uh, plug. So you can find them around. I just saw another one at um, Fred Meyer uh, the other day. I was, I was just walking through. I cut down the aisle that had a bunch of stuff like this in it, and I just happened to notice it. Um, the one that Fred Meyer was quite a bit more expensive than this one, but uh, this one wasn't cheap necessarily. I think it was about 35 bucks. Uh, and it's, it's not very big and it doesn't heat very evenly. Uh, so that's why I say I don't really recommend it, but I'm happy to have it. I've actually had this for years and I use it all the time. Uh, sometimes I'll just use it on my feet if I'm too lazy to get my hot water bottle out and warm up some hot water for the hot water bottle out. I'll just get this out and, and plug it in because it's super easy and just plug it in. It heats up really fast, but um, really cool thing. Um, and I figured since it's feeling chilly out, I should put my hat back on. So I've got my other hat back on. This hat's a little more comfortable than this one. This one's great because it's, it's big and oversized and super warm, but um, it's a little too much, I think, for this weather. It's not really that cold out, I don't think. I'll find out because i got to get out and uh, go use the restroom uh, while I'm here. And then probably it's about time to take off. And also, it's probably time to think about dinner. What am I going to make for dinner? I need to have something good and nutritious. Oh wow, it's looking beautiful out here. I guess I did miss the sunset. But it's still just fantastic, isn't it? Well, it hasn't exactly been a fantastic day, and I'm a little bit bummed that I missed the sunset, but what a great place. I mean, this is gorgeous now. Um, now that I'm feeling better, I can actually enjoy the view a little bit. But it is getting cold, so uh, I think I'm not going to stay here any longer. I think I'll uh, think about dinner and finding a place to park tonight, because, uh, yeah, I don't want to uh, turn things around and start feeling uh, bad again, so... Uh, better look after my myself here and just go figure out dinner. Kind of hard to leave a spot like this, though, isn't it? Okay, I found a parking spot in front of a apartment complex, kind of my normal go-to. Um, it's not ideal, it's a little downhill, but it's not too bad, so I should be okay. Um, that's one of the things I have to be careful of too. If I park too much downhill, I'll wake up with a headache. Uh, too many headaches, too many ways of getting headaches. <laughs> Don't want another one. Uh, I've been headache free for quite some time, so I, uh, I'm probably now nervous about giving myself a headache more than I should be. Okay, uh, dinner time though. I, I kind of wanted just to go out to eat and get something just because I didn't want to get into cooking a bunch of stuff. Um, I kind of feel like I just need to get to bed early tonight. Maybe watch a little YouTube since I've got service and then go to bed early tonight. But uh, I really don't eat out. It's just... It's just fraught with danger for me. Uh, so many things I just don't tolerate uh, from regular uh, restaurants. So um, not a good idea to go out to eat. And then I was thinking about going to the store and buying something that would make dinner quick. There's a Fred Meyer here, really nice one. Two-story, massive Fred Meyer. Um, part of the Kroger chain of grocery stores, so big, big grocery store. Uh, and there's also a grocery outlet here, so I had choices, but then I just realized I've got stuff, you know, lots of stuff, and I keep things on hand just to make dinner easy when I 
am feeling lazy like I am right now. So this came out of my pantry. I think I bought this at a grocery outlet not too long ago for two dollars. Um, chickpea curry, which is one of my favorite things to eat. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's spicy or not. Um, I'll find out. And if not, I can always spice it up, right? And then I always like to have some grain with my dinner. Otherwise, I feel um, hungry. So I think I'm just going to make some rice. And I'm just going to do some white rice just to make it quick. Uh, because, like I said, I want to just turn on YouTube, get into bed, and uh, fall asleep quickly tonight. So I'll do a little rice and try this. And... Oh, I can snack on some things while the rice is cooking, can I? I've got some really good... So here it is. Got some really good salsa and some chips that I bought at Grocery Outlet last week, I think, now. Um, so, there we go. Lots to snack on. Tiny dinner, but should be okay. I'm feeling pretty proud with myself. I haven't cooked rice in quite a while. Uh, I just threw this in the pot, put it on the stove, and look at that, perfectly cooked. And I cooked up a little bit too much, so I have a little bit here for uh, something else tomorrow, leftovers tomorrow. Maybe I'll do a stir fry with some of those eggs I've got. But yeah, like riding a bike, I guess. And here's my dinner. Uh, it's not the most appetizing color. It's kind of beige looking, but um, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. It's good. It's not spicy at all. It would be better if it was spicy, but um, I did have some nice spicy salsa and chips before, so I guess, I guess it's okay. You know what? It could use a little black pepper, maybe. But yeah, actually, this is pretty good. Well, I've had a nice easy dinner uh, and a nice turnaround of my day. Wasn't the greatest day, obviously, but uh, it's nice that it ended up being a good day. And uh, as a nice little bonus, I have cell service here so I can watch some YouTube or whatever. Uh, I have not had good service uh, being up and around the Olympic Mountains the last couple of weeks. So this is kind of a treat today. Um, so I will catch up on friends' YouTube videos and hopefully get to bed early. And hopefully that means I'll get a better start on uh, the day tomorrow. We'll see about that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it quits here today. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.